All right, Shanika, thank you. Labor Day weekend is here, and the skies and roads expected to be busy as people travel for the uh, unofficial start of fall. Yes, <laughs> yes. Unofficial end of summer with the most people starting the holiday travel today. Our Tosa Fakile live at DCA. She's been there all morning, giving us a glimpse of how things are looking. And Tosa, it's Friday in the final hour. What do you got? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Corey, you know, Corey said that because he's a fall guy. He loves fall weather and I love fall weather, so I completely understand it. Hey guys, good morning. Rush hour at the airport is over. So if you're about to head to the airport, the good news is TSA lines almost non-existent. Your wait time will probably maybe a minute to two, but all morning we've seen the pre-check and clear lines super busy, but they've been moving pretty quickly and that is the good news. Hey, I can tell you guys, this gives you some stats, um, holiday travel during this Labor Week, Labor Day weekend domestically, that's up 9%. The good news about it, though, the cost to travel this holiday weekend, officials say that's gone down 2%. TSA getting ready to screen a lot of people nationwide. How many? Well, to join me this morning talking about those numbers, I'm with Lisa. She is with TSA. Lisa, let's talk about how busy you guys have been. First, how many more people are you planning, are you guys thinking you're going to um, scan through this holiday weekend? So today will be the busiest day of the holiday weekend. And here at Reagan National, we'll probably screen maybe about 4,000 more people than we would on an average busy summer day. But basically, busy summer day, you want to get here early and you want to know before you go. And by that, I mean know what is in your carry-on bag before you get to the checkpoint. That way, you're not going to have anything prohibited inside. You should be the one packing your carry-on bags, whether that's a handbag, a messenger bag, a backpack, a roller bag and make sure you have nothing prohibited inside. One of the things we see, unfortunately, a lot of are people bringing oversized liquids, gels, and aerosols. If you're gonna bring something liquid of that nature, it needs to be 3.4 ounces or smaller, fit into a one quart size bag, one bag per person, and then you can bring that through a checkpoint. Uh, and we're happy to make sure that's screened. If you have a larger uh, you know, toiletry item, say shampoo or conditioner, uh, you know, a big 12 ounce bottle, just put that in your uh, check bag and you're good to go. All right, really quickly before I let you go, the question, you can bring food in, but the kind of food you bring in matters. Talk to me really quickly about that. Yeah, we know people want to bring a snack on the plane with them. That's a great idea. You want to make sure it's something solid. So, for example, if you want to bring a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, that's fine. But you can't really bring a jar of peanut butter or a jar of jelly because that's a spreadable. So if you can spill it, spread it, spray it, pump it, or pour it, then it's considered a liquid gel or aerosol or paste. And then it, if it's large, it should go into your check bag. Say that 10 times fast. All right, Lisa, thank you. And hey, another fun fact for you before I let you guys know, did you know the top 10 busiest times for TSA in its history? All of it has happened this year. So take that and run with it. All right, well, if you're going to come to the airport, remember, give yourself enough time. Although right now, things are looking pretty good. We're live at DSA, DCA. I'm Tosa Vakile. I'll send it back to you.